Hey, this is Comervac. In this video, we're going to do some talking about how the beta process will work for Overwatch, as well as provide you information about how people are selected for beta. Real quick, as far as dates go, at this point in time, I've covered all of what we know in the beginning of this video here, so go check that out if you're interested. Alright, so in the past, Blizzard has worked their betas in a few different ways. We've seen actual codes, we've seen account activation, and blends of these, the notifications for which come via email. Total beta periods for a lot of Blizzard's games in the past are around about five to six months. The payment model actually has a lot to do with this process. If it's a free-to-play like Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone, then there will at some point be an open beta. Based off of both of those games, we could probably be looking at about three months of closed beta and then followed by two to three months of open beta. What does closed beta and open beta mean? Well, closed beta is essentially the kind of beta that most people are familiar with, where the company in question will send out codes or account activation to a certain number of people, and in that time they will exclusively get to play that game, and a lot of testing goes on in this process, etc. And then open beta is another way of saying, please don't mind the bugs. Again, there's probably a lot of testing going on during that process too. The beta process for games that require payment is actually a bit different. Usually with those games, you'll only see a closed beta. One exception to this is if the game in question is actually an expansion pack, and in this case usually the owners of the previous game will at some point get at least some open beta, or at least the opportunity to access the beta for cheap. Now the chances are, and I'm sure, that Overwatch will be a free-to-play, and there's a video I did about that here if you want to take a look at it. So how does the process of selecting players for beta work? And is there anything you can do to increase your chances outside of just signing up? Well, yes and no. I've talked with some StarCraft community managers in the past about a similar topic, and the process should be about the same for Overwatch. It really boils down into a few different factors, and I'm going to list these in no particular order. 1. There is a good chance you could get beta if you are in one of the following groups, however, it is not limited to this list. You are a developer, a close friend or family of a developer, a Blizzard representative or other Blizzard employee, these can receive betas also, a YouTuber or streamer of some reputation that they take interest in, a reviewer on a website that they take interest in, an MVP member for one of the MVP programs on their forums, and then of course that list can go on, but uh, that's those are the big ones I just mentioned. Two, is the account signed up for beta? Obviously. And how early did you sign up? Three, is the account active, as in have you been playing games on your account within the last couple of months? Four, is the person's hardware capable, needing testing, or ideal for the game? The Battle.net launcher gathers this information automatically. Five, is the account active on Blizzard forms? This one actually ranks really low compared to everything else, so uh, not a really big deal this one. Six, is the account in good standing? As in, have you been, like, banned or temp banned for things like cheating and or bad behavior? 7. A computer picks from a pool of such candidates, so having more than one active account signed up for beta does technically increase your chance, but I'm going to get into some specific details that go along with this just in a bit. And finally, 8. At later dates, pre-orders can often entail limited beta access near the end. However, since because this is likely going to be a free-to-play, that doesn't really count for Overwatch. So, in the likely event that you are not a fortunate son, what can you do now to perhaps improve your chances of getting beta access? Well, aside from being active on your account and participating in the community, you can actually sign up with multiple accounts. However, there are some catches to this. If you just go and create a bunch of accounts and have them all signed up for beta and you did that right now, chances are that wouldn't really improve your likelihood of getting into the beta because when you have a bunch of those you know they're brand new accounts all on the same IP address they're gonna put up some flags and they're probably not going to get beta assigned to them if anything they could hurt your chances of getting beta access so don't do that now what you can do and what can definitely improve your chances is if you have other older accounts or accounts that perhaps belong to friends or family members, try and get as many of these accounts that you can and sign them up for beta because they've been around, you know, anywhere from a few months to a few years. They have some activity on them, and when you sign those up, they're going to look much better than an account that you just created. So go ahead and grab as many of those as you can, sign them up, and if you can, make sure that somebody, you, a family member, whoever, has played a game on that account within the last month or two. That'll make the account show up as recently active, 
which is a good thing, it'll increase the chance. So now let's talk about some frequently asked questions. The first big one that I always hear is, hey, can I give my beta key away to someone? The answer to that is yes, but don't sell it, don't advertise it. If you want to give it away, just give it away, no questions asked, no one really cares. But that leads into the second question, which is, can I share my beta account? Now, I know with Alpha, uh, for example, I was in Heroes, yeah, Heroes of the Storm, Technical Alpha. There were some issues with people sharing the Alpha account. Technically, you weren't supposed to do that. It really, no one really cared, but it did come up a couple of times that I noticed. With Beta, yes, you can. So, feel free to share your Beta account. You might not want to talk about sharing your account or who you're sharing it with, but go ahead. It doesn't really matter. You can do that. It's fine. The next question is, can I buy Beta? No, you can't. That's not how it works. I mean, maybe if you know some shady beta key dealer, you know, that's between you and whoever, but uh, officially, no, you can't buy beta. One of the biggest questions is simply, can I have beta? Uh, no, that you'd have to refer to the earlier part of this video to learn how to do that, <laughs> but, but no, uh, simply asking for beta will not get you beta. Unfortunately. Alright, so finally, to wrap up this video, I'm going to talk about what we can expect to happen during the beta process for Overwatch. So once beta is out, the forms on the Overwatch website will open up and the people who have beta access will be able to post and do whatever on those forms, which is nice, I really like the Blizzard forms, they're awesome. I actually much prefer them to a subreddit. There will be patch notes galore, a lot of them. There are going to be a lot of bugs, and I can tell you this for sure, because Overwatch is on an entirely new engine for Blizzard. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of issues with balance uh, for most of the beta, and then afterwards, that's just, you know, simply how games work, especially Blizzard games. Uh, you know, they got patches for all that sort of stuff that come out. Hopefully a lot of this can get ironed out during beta with people actively participating, reporting bugs, and discussing issues in the game. We will most likely see several new characters pop up. By the time beta is over, I've said before, there could be upwards of 20, which is a good thing. More characters, you know, more playable stuff. We'll see a lot of new maps. I'm very excited to see what the maps are for Overwatch, because the maps I've seen in the gameplay videos so far are really cool. Finally, I really hope that we see more cinematic trailers. I thought that first one that came out, the uh, cinematic trailer, if you haven't seen it already, go watch it, it's amazing. I would really love to see more of those kind of videos. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. Alright guys, I hope you found my speculation and information about the beta process for Overwatch interesting, and I would love to see what you think in the comments below. Have a great day, Gomervac signing off.